It's the end of the innings for Tukwaka. After a short break, it's Okaiboma's turn to bat. And following his bowling success, Corey has been sent in to open the batting. Tukwaka take up their fielding positions. All except Jason, who's more interested in his supply of betel nut. Just like chalk. Get her done. Core is straight off the mark with his first ball. But although he needs just five more runs to take the lead, he's struggling to get his eye in. I'm loving this shit, man. It wasn't that fun in practice, but now it's game time, everything's pumped up. We're about to catch a ball. Funny, everything seems so much better after a little beetle nut. With just two runs to his name, Corey's innings is over. It's not the start Okai Boma wanted. This kind of cricket form of baseball where they throw the ball in the dirt is a lot more challenging to hit than American baseball where they throw it in the air. It's tough the way they're pitching, real tough. With Corey out, it's left to the locals to chase to Kwakwa's total. And as the wickets fall, one spectator is left to rue his moment of axe madness. I wish I was doing it. At least I got a chance to do it the other day. <laughs> this game's fucking awesome. <laughs> Off his face. At last, Richard comes in, the firm favorite. He only needs seven runs to beat Mark and win the competition. In just two shots, he takes the lead. But he needs many more runs if he's going to help to save his team from a crushing defeat. We just done better than the locals. But we knew he'd be good because he plays cricket in England. It's looking good for Richard and for his village. But with a mighty 16 runs on the score sheet, his runner makes a bit of a blunder. And like Jason before him, Richard is run out. You got him? You got him? I've got to be honest, I was loving it out there. I was really enjoying myself and I'm bitterly disappointed that I was out because something happened to the runners and, and without even knowing I was out, I was told to walk back here. Um, it's, it's a pity. I would rather have been out with a flamboyant attempt at a six or maybe sort of, yeah, a huge miss and, and, and something. But to go like that, it's really leaves a bit of a sour aftertaste.